to Beautico. So today is another haul video. I bought a bunch of new makeup from Nika. This is not sponsored whatsoever. And it was like, I found so many gems, like hidden gems on Nika, which I never knew about. And I have not seen anyone talking about them as well, which is so surprising because I am wearing a lot of products on my face as you can see and oh my god are you all excited to know what i wore on my eyes keep watching so yeah as you can see i am so excited to share with you guys the products that i bought and there is a hell lot of products so if you all want to know what i bought from nika recently please keep watching but before going please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to hit the notification bell right next to this is subscribe button so that you guys get notified every single time i upload a video now let's get started so oh my god what do i start with i think i'm gonna start with skincare because i just have a couple of products that i got from the skincare um category so the first skincare product is from forest essentials and i have heard so many good things about forest essential so i was like i need to like literally need to try them out so i bought this facial treatment mask this is the mysore uh, sandalwood and nug kesar mask and i have already used this one and i must say that this mask is so good like i thought like forest essentials is just like a hyped product and they are super duper expensive they are not cheap i think this mask for, for was for 17.95 like these are like natural products so there are no chemicals in it and this is what it looks like so i have used this mask a couple of times and i am so happy with the results i thought it's not gonna be that good but it is so worth the money it literally cleansed my skin it has sandalwood in it so it actually is very good for skin sandalwood it makes your skin look a little bit glowy and bright and you know really really clean so it definitely did clean out my pores and all the gunk that was there on my face i loved using this mask really really good i really recommend using this forest essentials my source sandalwood and nug kesar mask especially for oily skin this is so good okay the next skincare product is actually a body moisturizer this is the body shops strawberry body yogurt now this is a yogurt this is not your typical lotion or your body cream which is heavy this is yogurt so it's water based and it's literally so hydrating and i have an issue with body lotions i hate like literally hate sticky body lotions a lot of them like very few are like not at all a sticky feeling and this was one of them and the best part is it smells so good it is the strawberry smell and it just smells heavenly and it feels heavenly on the skin it completely gets absorbed very very quickly doesn't leave any sticky residue and i'm so happy that i found this product i never knew there's a yogurt for body which is actually so good from whatever i'm gonna be speaking like whatever i'm gonna be talking to you about all the products that i'm gonna be talking to you about this is one product that you should invest in you will love me for it try it out it is so heavy so that's it for skincare now let's move on to makeup now Rimmel I bought a bunch of things from Rimmel so they released their uh, lasting matte range I suppose so I have their primer this is the Rimmel matte primer all day shine control this is what it looks like a stunning packaging by the way very travel friendly very sturdy looking and sleek looking packaging yeah this primer was for 650 rupees i haven't used this yet and then i also bought their new foundation this is their lasting matte lightweight mousse smooth effect full coverage mattifying foundation so i bought two shades uh one is sun beige and the other one is natural caramel and i did go ahead and try out the shade so sun beige is the perfect match for me but i haven't tried out this foundation so i plan to do like a separate video reviewing this particular foundation so let me know if y'all are interested in seeing that and along with that i also got the rimmel's uh lasting matte full coverage concealer and this is in the shade okay the shade is sun beige now i have tried a couple of concealers from rimmel earlier but i didn't end up liking any of those because it had no coverage even if it had the texture of a concealer it had no coverage so 
I'm hoping this is a good one. So I'm gonna try out all of this in combination, like the primer, the uh, the foundation, and the concealer, and let's see how this goes. So, so since we are on the Rimmel topic, I bought another Rimmel product. This is the Natural Bronzer, and this is in the shade sun glow and this is what it looks like like i have heard a lot of good things about rimmel bronzers so i wanted to give it a go and it's in the drugstore range it comes for rupees 525 which is affordable and it's very very hard to find a good bronzer in the affordable side so i'm hoping that this is also gonna be good so i will definitely try this out in the other video where i'm gonna try out the foundation so keep a watch for that a bunch of cheek products i am big on cheeks you guys i have been loving cream cheek items so i got a bunch of those so firstly let me talk about these these are the flower bomb blush bomb so i got it in two shades one is bitten and the other one is cinnamon and this is what bitten looks like it's a beautiful pinky purple pop of color and the other one is cinnamon this is more on the nude side so i have already started using this and i love the shade bitten like it's super pigmented and it's very very creamy but not very sticky and like as you can see it's very pigmented so a little bit goes a long way this is a bomb product literally like a blush bomb it's a bomb product so if you are into like cream blushes you will love this and the other shade is cinnamon i'm gonna show you the shade cinnamon as well like you can wear this on your bare cheeks or you can wear it on top of makeup or foundation uh, but on bare cheeks also it looks stunning so this particular shade cinnamon is actually a little bit hard to spot on my cheeks and on my skin tone uh, but again if you're on the fair side you will love the shade cinnamon it's a beautiful nude shade but on my cheeks as you can see it's very difficult to like uh, it's pretty much the same color as my skin tone so for me it's a little difficult to you know show it doesn't really show up that much so i give these like a 9 out of 10 these are amazing amazing blushes so i have another like cream blush this is the karina kapoor khan lakme absolute cheek contour and this is in the shade coral diva i haven't used this one but this is what the shade looks like it's a pop of orange coral shade um and it's like a neon shade so i'm not really sure whether i will like this or not but i will definitely give it a go and see how it uh works on my skin but as i can see the formula is not really that good it's very like as you can see it's like weirdly creamy and it's bunching up so i'm not sure oh look at it like i'm rubbing it and it's just going off from my hands so is it going to work or not i'll definitely try it out and i will update you guys as to how this particular one goes but this was an expensive product this is for 1300 rupees so if it doesn't work uh like me what are you doing then like come on guys don't hate me i got more cream blushes but these are from kiko milano and if you guys haven't tried out kiko products you should definitely give it a go they make some amazing products and i have a lot of them which are like in my everyday routine which are very very good so i bought these a tuscan sun tuscan sun tuscan sunshine all over stick i bought all three shades that are available in this because all three shades look so good so the three shades are god knows it's 01 02 and 03 so i'm gonna show you how 01 looks like oh by the way a very very sleek packaging i love the packaging it's so luxe and this is what the shade looks like this is the nude shade in this particular range and this is my favorite shade from all the three i have been using this quite a lot like on an everyday basis like when i'm doing the no makeup makeup look this is what i like to wear because it's a beautiful nude peachy shade that i love in a blush and the formula is also 
super duper pigmented and look at that shade it's such a sophisticated nude so the way i like to apply it is i li like to take my beauty blender and like dab it on the product and then dab it on my cheeks and that way it gives me that very smooth finish blush effect and my skin looks super duper smooth when i apply this blush because it's its formula is so damn good it literally looks like butter on the skin love this okay so that was the shade 01 let me show you the other two shades as well this is more of a mauvey pinky shade this is also a beautiful shade by the way and the last shade that i have is 03 and i haven't used this one but this is like a pop of pink yeah this is like a pop of pink but that is also a beautiful shade actually it's more on the peachy pink side which i think is gonna look beautiful on my skin as well so love 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 these next i bought a couple of powder blushes now these are also from the kiko milano's tuscan sunshine range so i got the shade 02 tuscan iris and 03 square of miracles this is what the packaging looks like a beautiful sleek packaging very girly looking packaging and this is what the product looks like from the inside so it has two shades one is the blush shade and one is more like a highlighter shade uh but like it's not like this particular side can not really be used on its own because i feel like it's too like not that smooth on the skin to like set makeup so i like to mix it up so i did use this particular shade 02 tuscan iris today on my cheeks i don't know whether you can see but um i'm not really impressed with these blushes the formula on these blushes because it has this muddy looking effect as you can see i did top it off with another blush which i'll show you guys but uh like i'm not really happy with these blushes the other shade let me show you the other shade this is more of like a mauve shade as you can see i haven't used this so i'll definitely try this out but i mm, like these are okay for me like i'll give them like a five out of ten don't really like the formula it's too powdery and like too dusty so okay then i also bought the clinique's a uh, cheek pop blush pop in the shade ginger pop now i have been actually eyeing this clinique blushes since a long time and i actually wanted the shade fig pop i think that's what it's called but fig pop is like discontinued now so i thought i'll give this one a go the shade ginger pop and it is so beautiful so i did top off my blush with this particular one that's how i have a little bit of rosiness to my cheeks otherwise there was no rosiness whatsoever and i need the rosiness on my cheeks otherwise it just looks too dead to me so this particular one is beautiful like the blush formula is beautiful this is the shade and i've been using this quite a lot you must have already seen this particular blush in a couple of my instagram videos if you haven't seen that definitely go ahead and check my instagram out and you will see how beautiful this shade is i've been loving this i wear this even when i'm wearing like a no makeup makeup look it gives me that beautiful flush of cheeks and it has a little bit of sheen to it very very slight sheen to it but it literally complements my skin so i love love this blush i am so happy with this one and i'm so happy that i invested in this clinic blush okay so i ended up buying quite a lot of eyeshadows and eyeshadow palettes in particular so the first one that i am wearing on my eyes right now is this one this is the lottie london's i don't know how to pronounce this Zatul, I am really, really, I cannot pronounce this. I don't want to butcher her name, but this was in collaboration with her and Lottie London. And this is what the eyeshadow palette looks like. Oh my God, what an eyeshadow palette. It is super pigmented. If you want to see like how I got this look, let me know. I will just put uh, like a proper tutorial as to how I got this look on my YouTube. I was so surprised by the pigmentation. It's so pigmented so blendable and look at the quality of eyeshadows super duper surprising and this retail for just rupees 1350 and it's so worth every penny i'm just gonna swatch a few shades and you will understand what i'm talking about like this eyeshadow palette is so pigmented so damn pigmented and 
not at all patchy very beautifully blendable and all the shades are so beautiful like there are so many warm shades that you can use on an everyday basis she's also added a gold copper pink and this is more like a reddish coppery shade greens and a blue and there's a black like there's a black in this palette which literally completes this palette it's like a whole package oh what a beautiful palette what a beautiful compilation okay then i also got another palette from lottie london so i was seeing a couple of like lottie london products and i was like okay i need to uh, try out their eyeshadow palettes because they looked so beautiful this is the lottie london's nine piece eyeshadow palette and this is the rusts one so this is like totally up my alley like this particular shade like there are pinks there are warm browns golds and coppers and like the perfect palette for me like to travel with again the quality of these eyeshadows my god i am so surprised by the quality of these eyeshadows they are super duper smooth very blendable and very damn pigmented like let me show you this metallic shade right here it's so smooth and metallic i am surprised by this and again this retail for 750 rupees which is again in the affordable side such a beautiful palette i have done another tutorial using this palette on my instagram so you can check that out for the beauty launched a couple of new products on nika and i had the nude medium nude obsessions medium one but i wanted the nude rich one so i ordered that for myself again this is what the palette looks like again these shades are like totally my shade there are pinks there are coppers there's like a red copper gold and there's like a darker brown shade so again i'm actually very excited to use this palette and again the formula is really really good the beauty palettes the smaller palettes have such a beautiful formula even the medium one has such a beautiful formula so yeah let me show it to you like especially the metallics are bomb you guys like if you see the metallics you will die like i die for the metallic shades in general look at that look at that that's beautiful and then i also bought two bobby brown sparkle eye eyeshadow these are single eyeshadows so i bought this for everyday use i love just using like one eyeshadow all over my eyes which is like glittery and wet looking so this is exactly what it looked like this is a shade baby peach so these are like beautiful eyeshadows that i've been using on an everyday basis like only this on my eyelids and my eyes look so pretty let me show you this shade i'll just show it to you here look at that shade it's isn't it like beautiful and so girly and so pretty looking shade and this is a beautiful gold shade look at that it has this very beautiful sparkly effect to it can you see that which looks really natural on the eyes and very flattering on the eyes so that's the reason i bought these two so these eyeshadows are more on the expensive side so you can definitely skip it because you can get a lot of dupes for these the dupes that i'm talking about which are slightly better than the bobby brown ones are the swiss beauty loose foil pigments and this is what it looks like and this just retails for i don't know but it's really cheap i'll like link it somewhere here it's really really cheap and this is what the packaging looks like i'm just not happy with the packaging because the packaging can get a little bit messy oh my god i have glitter all over so i cannot deal with the packaging so what is this shade yeah i think this is shade 10 and I'm going to show you how beautiful this particular like eyeshadow pigment is. Look at that. That is stunning. That is literally stunning. It's going to be a beautiful highlight. It's going to be a beautiful eyeshadow shade. This is the shade 04, a coppery gold shade as you can see. So this is the shade it's more of a rose gold you can say this is more of a rose gold shade and it's like super duper sparkly as you can see and it is gonna be 
perfect for a bride and all because brides need that sparkly or uh, very sharp looking eyes so i'm gonna try them out so i also wanted to mention these two brushes from nyx that i use to do my eyeshadows uh this one is in the number 13 and the other one is in the number 16 oh my god these brushes are so good especially this one the number 16 is so precise and that's how i got this beautiful cat eye look i didn't even end up cleaning it this is really really good for like precise application and placement of eyeshadow brush number 16 this is 13 this is 16 is good for like blending your transition shades very soft brushes and very very good quality brushes so yeah if you're looking for good brushes i think you should try next next i bought this i think you guys must have seen this this is a two phase natural phase highlight blush bronzing wheel face palette that's a huge name this is what it looks like and i was so excited to you know buy this because i have been eyeing this since a very long time even before two phase actually released in india i wanted this and it's such a luxe product like the feel of the product is so luxe and the design is so like elite i love the packaging and this is what it looks like from the inside isn't it beautiful you can see the mess on my table but anyway this is what it looks like and it is such a beautiful palette you guys it has like a bronzing shade which is a perfect match for my skin then there are blush shades right here blush topper which is more on the like sparkly side so if you want like a glowy blush this is actually really good i thought this is not going to be useful but it's actually very very beautiful and then we have two highlights and the quality on this palette is so good and if the powder goes in your mouth you're gonna feel sugar crystals mouth is not gonna feel weird in fact it's gonna feel like you're eating candy which is so good and the palette smells also really really good okay next i also bought a couple of Rene lashes this one is the fiery one and this, the one that i'm wearing is this style i think sasha i will link it in the description box below but these lashes are really good i struggle with lashes and i struggle finding a good pair of lashes which will not poke me in the eye but these are really good and affordable these are just for 4.99 rupees i have been using these sasha lashes so many times and i love it it's not at all heavy feeling it's very light very easy to apply as well so i love the rene lashes so definitely if you're looking for good lashes try them out you will like it okay before we move on to lippies i have two setting sprays that i got one is this this one this is the la girl primer spray this is prep and hydrate face for makeup and i used this today before i started my makeup and then i used it once i had finished my makeup and i must say this is so good if you're not looking for a good setting spray this one is so good and even the spray is like so damn good like genuinely just remind me reminded me of the smashbox uh, uh, primer water this is a bang on dupe for that and it's equally good so yeah and then i bought the uh, maybelline's lasting fix makeup setting spray and this is a matte finish one i haven't used this so i'm planning to do like a one brand uh, tutorial where i'm using only maybelline products so that's where i think i'm gonna try this particular one out and this is on the affordable side which is 5.99 rupees but it is a matte finish so i'm not really into matte finish setting sprays i like the nyx matte finish one uh, but it does not make me like that dry matte so i'm hoping that this one also doesn't do that we'll see how it goes but so i also ended up buying a lash glue this is the glam gals eyelash glue this is what it looks like and this retails for rupees uh, this retails for rupees 360 i wanted to try out an eyelash glue since a very long time the one that i have been using currently is the miss claire one which i like it does the job pretty well but i wanted to give this one a go so i will definitely try it out and let you guys know in my future tutorials if this is any good but if you all are looking for a good eyelash glue this the miss claire one this is the eyelash glue dark tone one is actually really really good it also does have like a brush applicator to apply on the eyelashes so okay yeah. now let's move on to lips the final makeup products that i have uh, so i bought uh two eyelash two 
lip liners from LA Girl. This is the ultimate intense stay auto liner and I'm wearing one of them right now. This is the shade that I'm wearing right now is Keep It Spicy and it's a beautiful nude shade eyeliner and the formula on this is so good. Like look, did I break it? So the formula of these are like really really good. It's very very creamy but it does break easily so just remove a little bit out of the like the retractable one and it is a retractable one which is actually a good thing. And the other shade that I got is another nude. This is a non-stop nude shade. The name of the shade is non-stop nude but this is light. So I'm not really sure whether this will look good on my lips because it might not end up showing up on my lips because I have really really pigmented lips but I love the shade keep it spicy I love the formula on this like I splurged on lip products so I bought two Estee Lauder's pure color envy liquid lip this is called as a paint on liquid lip color so the shade that I got the first shade that I got is called as a naked ambition and this shade is another nude shade so when I'm buying like a luxury like high-end lipstick I make sure I buy nudes because that's what I wear on a regular basis I don't wear like poppy shades so I want to invest in something that I will wear for the rest of my life but yeah this is what it looks like it's a stunning packaging this is where the shade is written. I love Estee Lauder's packaging the blue shade the navy blue the gold detail and this is a clear plastic this is not a glass bottle but it doesn't feel cheap whatsoever it feels like a luxe lipstick so let me show you the shade now this is more of like a mauve cool toned shade so my thoughts on this lipstick i am wearing one right now let me show you the one that i'm wearing this is the estee lauder's by violet this is another one, uh, the paint on liquid lip color and this is in the shade Nude Tease and the packaging on this is a little bit different. This is a complete matte packaging like a powder pink packaging as you can see and this is the shade that I'm wearing right in the center of my lips along with that lip liner and this is again a nude shade as you can see but it's like a pale nude shade so I had to again go ahead with a darker lip liner and then fill it in with this but I love the color I don't actually have such a color it's like a very beautiful nude shade but it has a hint of pink to it like a mauve pink to it so it is flattering on my skin tone so now the formula on this is like super duper thin but super duper matte and very comfortable on the lips it does not feel heavy whatsoever like it's a very comfortable liquid matte lipstick so i'm happy with the purchase and there is one last product that i ended up buying was a perfume like i am like a perfume lover you guys must be knowing i know you guys have been asking me for my perfume collection with you i will definitely do it but give me some time i need to like figure out how i'm gonna do it and all of that stuff but yeah i bought this perfume this is the lolita lumpikas or the parfum oh my god i have been again eyeing this perfume since i think years now but i never ended up buying it because it never caught my eye in a mall otherwise i would have bought it but this is what it looks like and the packaging is so stunning so creative i love the packaging it's like a bluish purplish hue to the packaging which looks like a diamond it has all these cuts and then there's a golden cap and once you open it this is your perfume and this particular one has a very different fragrance to it like very very different to all the fragrances that i've bought recently or i have in my collection it has a fresh vibe to it but it has a little bit of sweetness a little bit of spiciness and a little bit of citrusiness to it so it's a mixture of all of those and it's a very soothing fragrance it's not like very spicy or very strong or very sweet overly sweet it's right in the middle which can be used for daytime so i have been using this whenever i go to office i do apply this particular perfume and go and i love the way it makes me feel it makes me feel really refreshed but yet very like soothing and calming kind of fragrance but it still has a lot of personality to it so i loved this perfume 
and I am happy that I purchased this. I got this on an offer for around 5,000 rupees, I suppose. So yeah, that was a steal and this is like a 100 ml bottle. Yeah, so that's it. I think I spoke a lot in this video. We are finally done with this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did because I was so damn excited to like, you know, try all these products. So I'm happy with this. And I think I'm gonna go now and I'll see y'all in my next video very soon. Until then, bye.